distinguished guests, the President of the United States, accompanied by advocate Selma Blair. Down. Good boy, stay. Me too. <sighs> yes, stay. <laughs> I feel so powerful, all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, this is on, I don't need this. This is for someone else, correct? For me. Okay, the real guy. Hello, I'm Selma Blair, and I'm here before you today as a proud disabled woman with my cane <laughs> and my service dog scout by my side to celebrate the anniversaries of the Americans with Disabilities Act and the Rehabilitation Act, the legacy of the leaders who came before. Although I'd had symptoms since the age of seven, it took a lifetime of self-advocacy to finally lead me to a diagnosis at age 46. After living most of my life in pain and self-doubt, the legacy of the leaders who came before. In my own disability advocacy, I have realized that these historic pieces of legislation were vital steps towards fairness, but the push towards equity continues. My name's Joe Biden. I'm Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> History shows it's often not the people in power, but the power of the people that moves the nation forward. And you, all of you did. The Rehabilitation Act laid the groundwork for another landmark law celebrated today. And when we passed this law, we made a commitment to build an America for all Americans for all Americans. Perhaps most importantly, we did it together. This was a bipartisan bill signed into law by Republican President George H.W. Bush 33 years ago on this spot on the South Lawn of the White House. It marked progress that wasn't political but personal for millions of disabled American veterans and families. We're making the federal government a model employer when it comes to wages, accommodations, opportunity in advance for people with disabilities. Folks, for more than 61 million Americans living with disability, these laws are a source of opportunity, meaningful inclusion, participation, respect, and as my dad would say, the most important of all, dignity, being treated with dignity. Ensuring the American dream is for all of us, not just for some of us. A bulwark against discrimination and a path to personal independence. And for our nation, these laws are a testament to our character as a people, a triumph of values over selfishness. So I, just, I think this is just the beginning. I think someone's going to be standing here 20 years from now talking about how fundamentally it's changed. 